welcome welcome okay turn this on so you guys can see all right gemini we're going to do your mega reading all right all right gemini i'm gonna shuffle in the cards to make sure that they're good how are you guys doing today all right let's get into it okay so let's use this deck for gemini please what's going on with gemini and their person's energy Remember to like the video if the video do resonate with you, Gemini. What is going on here? All right, let's take these. Okay, so the first card that actually went is the Ace of Cups. So, Gemini, you're going to get exactly what you've been looking for, waiting for with this person. I feel like whatever desire you, you have in your heart, the universe is rewarding you with this, okay? For some of you, it could be uh, someone that you're in your past is coming back up that wants a second chance. For some of you, it could be someone brand new here. So, let's see what's going on, Gemini. Look at the sun. Very interesting. So it's happiness, you know, water is flowing very, very gently. You know, everything is just moving as calmly as it should. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, we have the six of wands here. So this person is very attractive, you know, that is coming in. Very, very attractive. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. It could also be, you know, a Scorpio um cancer or pisces energy Ooh, okay the devil you know they have some dark ways within them okay this person is very addicted to you if you haven't met this person gemini which i'm feeling like this is probably somebody from your past that really have a crush on you can't stop thinking about you and definitely can't stop thinking about the way you guys make love okay they're stuck into something though i don't know what it is yet they feel like, you know, you belong to them. Hmm. They're looking at this relationship as a beautiful one that could blossom into everything that you guys ever wanted with the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of luck here. But for some of you, for the past past situation, if this is somebody from your past, this is definitely someone that, you know, been in your life before and you decided to end this and it's the cycle. So this looks like a cycle for those of you that haven't, that have met this person okay yeah so it's the death so this ended this relationship and definitely it's starting up again for some of you, you might be sick of this person but there is something here that you need guys need to learn from each other yeah this is someone from your past baby let's get it together here oh yeah you don't trust this person the five of the four of swords excuse me so for some of you left this person, they gave you anxiety. You don't trust them anymore. I mean, you jumped into this relationship too fast. That's what you're thinking about. Um, this just happened so suddenly when you guys first met. Um, there's going to be a, a conversation between you two because this person is coming off as a Leo energy. Um, they're very confident in themselves. They want to approach you and talk to you about something, but they don't know how to make this right with you. Okay. I'm seeing a little bit of stability ability they want to give back what they have took from you it's about a third party situation or someone that um a disappointment that happened you know a disappointment with this three of pentacles here where this person wants to correct okay so tell me more angels about this connection with gemini and their person please thank you angels thank you amazing thank you okay wow the six of cups so we have soulmate connection coming through here so you guys been through a lot together um this person is juggling two things though they're not ready to make a decision i don't know what's going on here because they realize that they let you down in the three of pentacles okay Ooh, the nine of cups mm. Wow, this person really, really loves you and you love them. I'm sorry to tell you, Gemini, if you guys are saying, oh, I'm over my ex. No, you're not. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, you can say it until you believe it, but <laughs> baby, you ain't over your ex. Your ex, you know, they coming back. You can't. Th Listen, they thinking about you so hard. You thinking about them. You're like, where this coming from? Oh, my God. Why am I thinking about this person? Can't get over this person. This is because you can't, you still love them. The Six of Cups, you're being tied together. Soulmate, there's unfinished business in the 
wheel of fortune you guys haven't learned what you're supposed to learn from each other as yet but you know this person burnt you out burnt you out and you're tired okay but you know the funny thing is you're burnt out but the nine of wands is in the upright honey you're still willing to work this out with your baby okay with your baby they're juggling something like i said they're stuck into something it's not something that they want to be stuck in it's not like like they want to leave the situation but they haven't made a decision to move forward out of it as yet okay because it's not overwhelming to them whatever that might be it might be a third party but this person is waiting for you to help them to get out of the situation so it could be them their circumstances maybe they're living with someone else and you know <laughs> if they leave them and you don't want them to live with you don't want to take them in where they're gonna go you know so they don't want to make that decision that they're gonna end up in a worse situation than they are in right now and probably you're not in a good situation for them at this present time but they want to be with you kind of thing okay hmm. all right what you don't see coming is a lot of healing that's going to be necessary it doesn't be have to be because this person put you through it it could just be because of a lot of things that you've been going through in your life period that need to be healed okay because without this being healed you can't you can't give anybody your heart or you can't make anything work out in the future where it's a long-term situation like this ten of cups is in reverse the star is also here all is well with this stop stressing out the passion is also real a new beginning for you guys you know you guys are probably still sleeping together for some of you the star is right next to what I mean the universe is guiding you guys to get back together the universe is putting giving you signs and everything that you guys belong together and I know you see it right you see it the signs um, if you know who this is you know who this is I know what I mean so the ten of I'm sorry the ten of cups is in reverse I'm actually feeling like it's because you need a lot of healing here this cannot be a long-term situation unless you feel like this is something that you truly truly want and this is something that you're truly truly ready for okay the king of cups well here's your offer this person is gonna give you an offer you know when they're ready it's gonna be the commitment that you desire <laughs> because look at that the ace of cups you know they're gonna give you everything everything they can possibly give you everything i feel like for some of you this person is very developed or you're developed because they're looking at this situation or you're looking at it as the six of wands like this person have a lot okay but i feel like this is this person though it's not your energy i feel like it's the person that's coming in like they're very very attractive they have a lot of friends they probably talk about trying a lot of things at once that's a little bit confusing for you and it probably make you feel like you have anxiety like you want to leave them because they're never steady or stable like you're thinking that they're not stable because they want to do this they want to do that they want to you know have like 10 businesses well their thing is they're going to do all of that but they're going to be successful at it they're going to be very stable okay or, or they already are you know very stable um because i'm seeing they're lot they're being very successful and they have a lot of people around them okay you're probably thinking that they're very flirtatious and stuff like that but most of these people are business partners i mean you know if this person is coming off as could be an uh, a fire sign or um what is it a water sign okay so fire signs are pretty they're very playful people like to play a lot like to flirt a lot they're free-spirited you know they're just like you gemini very free-spirited but their temper is what's the killer okay <laughs> their temper uh very controlling very sometimes they could be very manipulative so let's see what um, how you feel about this situation here. This is you and your person. So I just want to see how you feel about this situation. Okay, I'm gonna use another deck. All right, all right, Gemini, please. What's Gemini energy towards this situation? Gemini energy towards this situation, please. This Gemini energy towards this person coming through. Thank you, angels, 
for Gemini? What's their purpose? What's their energy towards the situation? Okay. Some cards fell, but I'm not going to take it. Gemini, feelings towards the situation, please. For this person, was Gemini's energy towards the situation. Thank you. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. You're taking it easy. You're moving slow with this person because you're not too sure. Like I said, you know, you had the anxiety uh, card, you know, the Four of uh, Swords, where you just feel like you need a break from this person's energy. Um, tell me more. I feel like you want a legacy, but you just, you're not, you're not, like, you're not putting your whole energy in the situation as yet. You're taking your time with this person. You want to see where things go, but you're moving slowly towards this person. Okay. All right. So four of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Wow. A lot of earth signs here. So you're feeling very homey with well, this person. Like it could be a possibility or a homey situation with this person like you're thinking like you're looking at them to settle you know to settle down to relax to be calm you know you're thinking that this person doesn't have time for you in the four of pen pentacles they're not there for you they're not doing all the things that they need to do right now to keep your attention i'm also seeing like you're feeling like this person is juggling two things and they don't and and, and they need to choose um there's going to be some kind of clarity, a new form of way with you and this person. So you just need to be patient here because whatever you're thinking is not what you think. You're going to get the clarity here. For some of you, you're thinking that this person is seeing someone else because they're not making, you're, they're not moving quick enough for you. They're not doing anything. They're just still not like you're, they're not serious for you. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what you're feeling, Gemini, towards this person. But what you don't know is that the clarity is coming. Like, that's what you want, but it's coming. All right. We have the magician. We have me. Wow. Okay. You're feeling like you want to, like, leave this person you want to pack your bags and go. That's what you're feeling here. You're praying, you're waiting for the universe to actually give you a sign on what to do here because you don't want to make the wrong decision. And I feel like it's a good thing for you to do to manifest what you want to meditate here and to ask the universe to guide you, okay? And to be patient. I also see that you do care about this person and you do see them in a good light. Like they could be a great family person. You know, they have a lot. I feel like this person that you're looking at is like, in luxury right now they're fully developed that's what i'm seeing here they can provide for you but you're kind of over this the way they're acting you're kind you're like over this okay seven of swords you don't feel like they're telling the truth like you want to run away from this person okay yeah, it's like a cycle for you. All right. Yeah, you're in your mind about this person. You really think that this person is cheated on you with the two of pentacles. You think that they have a lot of choices. Remember I told you for some of you, it could be that they're, it could be that they have choices because, you know, you do have the seven of cups here. You know, this person have choices, but they're not going anywhere. And I also feel like when I say they're not going anywhere, they're not long-term choices. You, They're looking at you as a long-term option. But however, I mean, for, I'm really getting like this person is just doing a lot of things, you know, like they're just busy doing a lot of things. And a lot of you don't believe them because they are being true. They're, they're actually telling the truth. Um, you know, I feel like I see a lot of traveling for you for some reason with this person. 
This person could be some someone that's in entertainment or managing someone that's in entertainment. Um, this person could tr trying to be, you know, an influencer or something about using their 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 bodies for not not not. Um, I'm not saying having sex for money, but I'm saying their beauty is their income, like or. Because I'm feeling like this person is just, they're traveling, everyone knows them. Tell me more, please. But you feel burnt out because this person is never around for you. Like they're never there to be with you, to appreciate you. For some of you, you're thinking that this person is doing the most that they're not supposed to do. But I feel like you want to be successful with them. You want to um, have this work, but you just haven't made a decision whether or not you want to end this connection or not. I feel like, again, you're in your head with a high priestess being here. I feel like you're trying to figure out some things, maybe ask a, a lot of people, like you're being codependent right now. You're trying to figure out the truth because you're not trusting your own self. You already know what's going on. Sometimes your heart is telling you, but you don't listen. You're listening to your mind. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're saying this person is not moving fast enough for you. You know, they act like they don't appreciate. So, and I feel like when this person is stressed out because I'm getting Leo vibes here or Scorpio vibes, they might tr like don't act like they don't care and be like, okay, well, go ahead and live your life if that's what you want. You, you want to be a part? Sure, whatever. Nine of Swords, you know? I feel like you're going to move forward from this. You're not stressing yourself out and you're trusting. I, I feel like in the long run, in the conclusion, you're going to trust yourself, okay? You're going to go through a lot of depression and, and, and change with this decision, but in the long run, you will let it go. All right, so let me get some messages from your person since we're going to do their um, reading right now, but I also want to get some messages from you or your person, whoever comes through right here. Angels, give me some messages for Gemini, please, about their person, what they want you to know here to give you some clarity. Because I think, Gemini, what you need is some clarity from this person or some stability, balance. Tell me anything for Gemini, please, in this relationship. Okay, here we go again. Please stop with the with the mess. Get your game together, boo. I just card always be coming out. <laughs> so this person is like, you know, I feel like they're saying that, you know, whatever this is, here we go again. Like, you don't believe me. What's the, you know, like you, you, you want to leave. You're playing games. Better off as friends. It's coming out. The better off as friends card. Tell me more, please, for Gemini and their person. What is this? The emperor. Okay, well, there we go. I feel like this person is going to do everything they can eventually um, when they do have time. And I know it's, it sucks to say that when they do have time because right now this person don't have time. They're juggling a lot of things, okay? And like, like I said, the two of pentacles could definitely be a job. It doesn't have to be a third party, you guys. So, and I see that this person is not overwhelmed with this. So it's nothing that they have to tell you about. You know what I mean? But this is causing an issue in the relationship. And I also see that this person will fight for you if they have to. All right. And they will. They feel like they're ready for the fight. Let me just tell you. So they might act nonchalant, like nonchalant, nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. All right. <laughs> if, um, you know, like if you're making them upset and you're telling them like you're threatening them to leave, of course, they're going to be like, OK, you could go. <laughs> the star is here. Ooh, what is this? So many messages. OK, these flipped, you guys. So I'm going to take these instead. These flipped. OK, I'm going to take these two because obviously the angels have some messages for you. OK, 
So we have the star. All right. All is well. So you guys are worried about nothing. And I also feel like, you know, um, the universe is getting entwined with this to help you guys out to align in the stars for you guys to work things out. They know that you guys need a push. Okay. Patience is the key as well as coming through baby first then marriage. Woo. So somebody is clearly thinking about a baby first and then marriage. I think it should be the other way around. You guys, <laughs> you're too crazy. Just try to relax for once. Okay. Yeah. This person is definitely saying you're too crazy. Just try to relax for once. I feel like your mind is all over the place and you know, you're thinking that they're doing something and they're actually making money. It will always feel like home. You're, you're family to them. They want you to be family. All right. Wheel of fortune. Good luck is coming towards you on this person. I also feel like for some of you, you've been through something that hurt you before and you might feel like this is a cycle and it's happening again. Okay. But this person's actually working on something good. How do you feel about me? They want to know, you know, how do you feel about them? I feel like it's something instead of, you know, um, telling them what you want all the time. I think you should tell them about your feelings. All right. Everyone I know wants you. So this person knows that you're very attractive. And plus, you know that this person is very attractive and every one of your people knows it too. And you know, they want it. I'm seeing drug addiction here for some reason. Drug addiction, you guys be careful with that negative family, maybe some neg negative people around you or them. All right. We also have mental health. So, you know, protect your mental state. You guys trust your intuition, protect your energy from any evil aspects or evil people that might be jealous of you. This could be your friends, you know, people that's close to you that you share your business to and you think that they're there for you when they're actually backstabbing you. Broken heart is also here. So, you know, I'm definitely feeling like there was a situation in your past where I'm grabbing into and I'm feeling like someone didn't really do the work after they left a certain relationship or they were dealing with a lot of things from their past. Okay. I'm having confidence and trust. Yeah. Somebody confidence and trust is off in the situation. Okay. You need to trust this person for this to work. You're done player. Wow. Okay. Somebody being caught with this or you're talking about you, you think that they're playing a games. And then we also have, you're my soulmate. So sorry. I have done this to you. Whoever that belongs to here. Okay. You might do some, you might have done something to them, Gemini, or they have done something to you. You know, it doesn't have to be cheating again because I, I, I feel like it could be, but at the same time, this person is making me feel like, well, I've been doing other things. Yeah. If they do cheat and they get themselves in trouble, I'm not getting, making any excuses for this person. This person is not thinking about a relationship with these people. It was just being too friendly and things got out of hand. Okay. All right. So let's see what this person wants you to know, because I already did your side. Now I want to see their side. Okay. You see, yeah, I'm trying to speed this up because guys, your videos be long with this, um, these full mega readings. Okay. Well, full is not as long as mega, but mega is I like a lot more things. So let's see how it goes. All right. So we're going to do, all right. What's going on for Gemini person, please. This Gemini person messages please in this connection the person that gemini is thinking about what's their thoughts on this relationship and messages please what would they like gemini to know what would they like gemini to know what would they like gemini to know here All right, so we got the world. Wow. 
All right, so they know they abandoned this relationship, okay? They know they weren't there for you. They're living with regret on this because you're choosing to give up on this. They feel very incomplete, incomplete without you. I'm getting like, you know, the only thing that they can do is just be manipulative, cold to you, stern and short because they're not even, they're just upset about this. They're upset that you walked away. Like you just, just turned your back because they really wanted the ace of pentacles. Okay. A legacy with you. This is what they were working towards. There's a lot of anxiety with this, but this person wants to talk to you. All right. But they need time. They need time to focus, to do the work. I am proud of them to do the work. There's a lot of heartbreak here. This person has taken time out and they will eventually come towards you and talk to you. It's going to be a big conversation with you and them. And I feel like it's going to be a good one. Okay. This is something that you guys needed in your relationship, honestly, and I didn't see it. So now that I'm seeing that you guys are going to talk. Okay. But you're upset that this didn't work out, but because you're doing things on your own because you have to, not because you want to. You put and hold on this Ace of Cups because you wanted this to work out. But I see that your your spirit is in a good place because this person definitely sees you as someone that you know they can build a life with. It's very um, nurturing. But I'm also seeing that they're in some um, kind of negative um, feelings towards you walking away. You know, and they're not sure about this relationship that they want to give you this offer of this ace of cups here. Okay. They want to give you this offer. They've been manifesting it, you know, praying for it. And I'm also seeing like, you know, they're ready for a committed relationship. They're ready to, for someone that they really want to be with, but they're not ready to apologize to you because they feel like it's not their fault. <laughs> oh my God. They're feeling like it's not their fault, but whenever you're ready, they're ready because they have a lot of love for you. Here we go. What's the conclusion here? What's the conclusion for this person? See, I already said manifest in you. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I feel like in the present moment right now, they're just doing the work, trying to deal with this depression, trying to deal with you walking away, trying to deal with you, you know, maybe losing you, trying to deal with you, um, you know, putting the emphasis on them, focusing on things that really truly matters, which is time in the moment, live in the moment. This person thinks about money a lot. Okay. So they're manifesting you back. They want to work things out with you. You know, look at that. The nine of wands again. This came up in your, both your readings in the beginning where, you know, uh, this person wants to work things out. They don't know how to get you back, but they are coming towards you. They want you to know that slowly, but surely you should receive a call or a text from this person or some kind of message very quickly though. Some kind of message here. They were very cold to you. They had their wall up. Like they didn't tell you what they, they didn't like include you. And I feel like this is something that really bothered you in the five of pentacles. For some of you, you felt used by this person. Felt used like this person didn't really want to be with you. Hmm. Clarify. Clarify this five of pentacles, please. Clarify this five of pentacles for Gemini person. Thank you. Oh, they felt used. <laughs> they felt used. What is this? We have the death. So they felt used, you know, everything stopped here. They felt used because you walked away. You ended things and they didn't actually understand why. Can I have one more card, please? They're going to call you. Yeah. This person wants to work this out. <sighs> Aries, Leo, or Sag. We also have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. We also have water sign, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer. Let's pull some messages, you guys, from the big message deck real quick. Because... I have more things that I need to do with this and I'm right behind. 
All right, what's going on for Gemini and their person, please? What messages Gemini want their person to know here? I mean, sorry, Gemini's person want their... <laughs> Gemini, what does Gemini person wants Gemini to know? Because this is their reading. Angels. Thank you, angels. Okay. Let's use these because these fell. I don't know what these are. All right. So the first one is I don't react when people mention you. Ooh. So there's a lot of people calling your name, talking about you, and they don't even react. They just like lay there, sit there and stay quiet. No reaction. So nobody knows how they really feel about you, <laughs> but they're in their feelings. You're so beautiful. Wow. You are my twin flame. Very passionate about you. <laughs> that explains the wands here. Nine of wands, eight of wands, right next to each other. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, all right. So I'm also seeing so many things remind me of you. So this person is seeing signs like the universe has given this person signs about you. Or, you know, they're, they're walking and they might see your initial on something or something like that. Okay. Or they meet someone that has the same name as you. Okay. I hid behind material, material things. This person is wealthy. I, I already knew that. Like this person is working towards being successful in life and they buy a lot of things. Okay. And this is what make them happy, but this is not what make you happy. You want their time and affection. I'm not the same when you're gone and it's and it shows. I'm sorry. I can't read my own writing. I'm not the same when you're gone and it shows. Okay. So this person's face is mean. <laughs> All right. What is this? I am proud of you with hearts. Aww. This person is watching you, you guys. You probably think they're not. <laughs> oh my God. You guys want to get Oh my God. I just said this person is watching you. And guess is what? I'm watching you when you're not looking. Oh my God. That is freaking crazy. That is crazy. Did you listen? That's crazy. I just said this person is watching you. I turned over this card and then. I am watching you when you're not looking. Oh my God. You guys, if you are still here at 33, make sure to like this video. You guys give it a thumbs up so YouTube can push it through to a bigger audience and make the video successful. So this channel can grow, please. Thank you. So we have, you are my everything. Wow. Then we have, will you wait for me? Then we have, yes, it is too late. So your energy is definitely coming through because I feel like you're in your feelings about this. I want you. And then let's do five more, you guys. I hope I will see you again sometime. Clearly, you guys are separated here. All right, separate. <laughs> The eight, oh my God, the angels are creeping me out, you guys. I said, I read, okay, I read this and I said, I hope I will see you again sometime, right? And I said, you guys are separated. Clearly, you guys are separated. I flipped over this card and it says, separation is killing me. <laughs> ah! I'm on the right path, you guys. That's what it means when the angels does that. It trips me out, though. Will you marry me? Question mark. So this person is thinking about the future with you, you know, but this is um, even though they're thinking about the future with you, you're taking notes. And it's like, if you're not there now, how are you going to be there in marriage? So I love you enough to walk away. OK. And then we have one more. I'm moving on. Please do the same. Oof, that was cold. <laughs> that was cold. All right. So let's do a few more messages with this deck. 
angels what's going on for gemini please what messages do we have for gemini and their person wow what message do we have for gemini and their person let me just shuffle half and half These cards are a lot. I d <laughs> I'm having issues shuffling, you guys, these cards, and I wrote them up. Oh, too many. I get so excited. Okay. All right. So let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. Thank you, angels. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. You know your girl is struggling with these cards. <laughs> All right, angels, what's going on for Gemini and their person, please? What messages do you have for Gemini and their person? With this, with this reading, please, with this connection. Okay. We have the summer. So something important is going to happen in the summer between you and this person or some kind of clarity. Okay. I feel like that's going to be a change. It's going to be a happy moment for you and this person. It's going to be exciting. I feel like it's going to involve other people. That's what I'm hearing here. Getting you guys together or there are people realizing that you guys are not fulfilled or happy without each other. Or you're talking about this person a lot one day and they're going to realize this new direction. So it's going to be a change when this happens. It's not going to be the same situation that happened before. Toxic vibes is also popping up. Maybe you guys need a break from each other and you notice this. Or toxic vibes is very important to you. You don't want this into your life. But somebody's acknowledging toxic vibes here. Toxic vibes. Tell me more. Stop calling me. Oh, somebody's very persistent right now. Very persistent. It's making you feel like it's toxic. Like you want them to stop. You know, you want them to move on. Because I'm getting that feeling as well. Okay. In this reading, like you want to move on, but this person is not there yet. Like they don't understand. They're in the death. They're like clueless. But this is something that always happened with them in relationships because they're so busy and they don't have the time, you know, to give the next person. I have anxiety when I think of leaving you. I'm sorry. No, this I read it wrong. I have anxiety when I think of you leaving me. Woof. Oh my goodness. What is this one? Magician. Manifestation, praying, meditation. Oh my God, they're using the universe to get you back. <laughs> positive family. So positive vibes was very in, important to you because we have toxic vibes here. We have stop calling me and positive energy. I also feel like, you know, you want your family to be okay. You want your family to be in a positive situation. You don't want negativity. You don't want misunderstandings. You just want to be happy. And you know, you're gonna get all of that, but you have to go through some challenges in life to be molded, okay? All right, so playing the victim. So somebody's blaming you for everything or not taking responsibility. That's making you very upset and cold. Okay, they're making you shut yourself down. I'm so proud of you. This person is clearly watching you and you don't even have any idea. I'm having your baby. Why just, why, what? I'm having your baby. Why you just up and left me? Question mark. So someone is definitely pregnant here. I'm Ooh, okay, interesting. Tell me more about this, angels. This is someone that, uh, no emotions at all. Somebody's cold about this. 
Somebody got cold feet in this situation. Somebody got cold feet here. More money for me. Ha ha. Something to do with money here. Somebody's in their feelings about this money, like this opportunity, like somebody did something wrong and they're like, more money for me. I text you, but you still didn't respond back to me. Okay, well, then we have death. <laughs> this person is wanting to rebirth. You know, this person was very... Why am I getting like this person did you wrong with a child before? Maybe this person wasn't ready to have a baby. They made you do something that you didn't want to do. Someone, I feel like for some of you could have had a miscarriage as well. Tell me more, please. Or you were planning a child and this person thought you were pregnant but you weren't. Oh my God, what is going on here? But I'm getting cold feet. This person has got cold feet. Do you and what? Do you and I'll do me, period, boo. Okay. <laughs> you are upset with this person. Can I have four more, please? Four more cards for Gemini. Do you and I'll do me, period, boo. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person wasn't ready for a family. They were working really hard trying to build a legacy for themselves. And then they got scared. They had cold feet here. And now they're back. They feel very incomplete with you. And they want to have a family now. They want to work on this legacy, this family, this you know abundance with you but you are done the tower yeah look at that you're done you don't want to be with this person anymore okay let's do two more please okay strength you're going to have a conversation with this person so get ready i saw you last night you look so beautiful this person is clearly watching you. There's a card here that flipped that wants to come out, you guys. So we have one more. Bad idea. <sighs> Bad idea. Whatever you're uh, choosing to decide, I don't know. You have There's some energies like bad idea here, okay? Engagement. Why these are flipping? Like, these cards are flipping on me. Like... I don't want you to see them, but it's like they want to be seen. We have engagement here. We have, please do, please don't do the same thing I did to you. We have, damn, you moved on real fast. Wow. There's a lot of toxic behaviors here. Toxic vibes. This could be your person or this could be you saying that. <laughs> Gemini, um, let's see, what because I'm confused. Let's see what's going on with this energy. I want to see what's your energy towards this relationship to be pacific and clear. And I want to see the energy of your person, okay? I want to get into your business. So if you guys made it to 44, make sure you like that video, please, so YouTube can push it through to a bigger audience. Thank you. All right, you guys. So let's get into your business because I'm, cu I'm curious as hell who this is. I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more, you guys. Sorry. Okay. You see how fast I clean that up? Fast I clean that up. Your girl is a pro. Okay. Let's put this over here. Okay, so let's see your energy, Gemini, please. How does Gemini feel about this connection? How does Gemini feel about this connection, please? That's Gemini's energy towards this person. 
Wolf's Gemini energy towards this person, please. Thank you. Gemini's energy towards this person. All right, Gemini. Gemini, excuse me one second. I have to get another deck, okay? deck um, card here for your person's energy. All right, so Gemini, I'm definitely feeling like you are willing to invest in this relationship. We have the seven of pentacles, okay? If this person is willing to come back, you will work on this. All right. But I'm feeling like there's a lot of, first of all, there's no communication. You guys have a big ass conflict in your home. If you guys do live together, I'm seeing the 1111 in reverse here, which is telling me that you guys are probably married and not getting along, or you guys are living together and not getting along, or you guys are dating and not getting along. But this person see you as an abundance, okay? But there is a situation where you guys are just not speaking. There's no new form of way, like something is being held here or something is being on hold here. I'm definitely seeing the justice though, even though you guys are not speaking speaking and you're like, okay, this is it. It's not going to work. I'm not going to see, ugh, we're not going to have any clarity. We're not going to move forward. You know, there is going to be clarity. There is going to be justice. This person is going to let you in. Um, but you on the other hand, you know, and I feel like another thing that look how I cut the card, you guys, and look what happened. Look at this. The 11, 11, the six of cups, soulmate connection here. Oh, this person and you are not seeing each other right now. You're, you're definitely from, this is person is from your past, you know, and this person, you love, you love them a lot and they love you. You guys have been thinking about each other. Okay. So let me move their energy to the side, <laughs> but, um, you're feeling like, you know, you will have a conversation with this person because you just, you're, you're going to be fair to them, but you're not willing to talk to them right now. Like whatever they need, you, you'll give it to them. But when it comes to a relationship with this abundance here, you're kind of blocking that right now. What's this person's energy, please, towards Gemini? What's this person's energy towards Gemini? It's been in the box for a minute. What's this person's energy towards Gemini, please? Angels, please. Hmm. All right. Oh, wow. Six of Wands. So this person looks at you as someone that has everything. Look at that, the six of wands. So you're looking at this, per this person is looking at you like you have everything that they want. You are a hard worker. You're very well known. Um, they're, co they're coming off as, you're, you're coming off as somebody that has a lot of friends to them. Someone that is very out there. So I could have been reading this wrong where I saw this person um, is all over the place, but it could be you, Gemini, because this is how they see you. Like you're all over the place, like you have a lot of friends, like you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to jump into this, you want to jump into that. Like you always, you have some, you always have a new dream to, to accomplish. Okay. But you go for it and that's how they see you. Very attractive, very beautiful person. Okay. Now, Gemini, I'm seeing like this person wants to run from you. Like you, they don't believe in a lot that you say, like you bring them through a, a loop here. There's a cycle here. Like you're trying to hid the truth. You know, this is how they feel like, you know, there's more going on than what you say on the back of the card. They do want to undo this tower and they do love you. 
All right. We also have the nine of pentacles. <laughs> wow. Very, very financially stable here. They see you as a go-getter. Let me see what's on the back of your card for this person. So you don't want to invest in this. You're saying that this person is very cold. They leave you out in the cold. They make you feel like you're not wanted, like they don't want to be with you. They shut the door. There is just too much control in this. Like they can't try to control the situation. Um, and there's a lot of other people that might be involved or coming towards you. Like they're too, like their past is coming towards you. Like they have unfinished business here. Like they will kind of control the situation here. I'm feeling like you want to just give up here. <laughs> Like this person doesn't show their affection towards you. This is what you're saying. Like this is so many responsibilities here. But yeah, your your main priority is that you want to invest in this person, even though you're running away to find out the good is about this person. But this person will eventually approach you. They just, they're very stubborn. And I feel like they're stubborn just like you. Very, very stubborn here because, you know, this person is losing faith. Um, but yet they see you as this, this person that they're never going to meet again, ever going to meet again. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. I feel like all these are like minor things where I'm pulling from the back here. Cause I'm trying to be nosy and be in your business. But the main thing is that they see you as a six of wands and all, all of that, that you have your, your dark ways. They have their dark ways, but you see them as someone that you want to invest in. Even though it's like people telling you a lot of things about your person and you're like, oh, well, but at the end of the day, you choose to invest, you know, and they choose to, you know, stick with you because you, it just feels right to them being with you. Okay. I feel like you guys have a lot. Um, this connection is um, not going to go anywhere. This is what I'm feeling here. This connection not that I'm saying not going to go anywhere. I'm feeling, I'm saying like, it's not going to end right now. You're thinking that it's going to be over and done with. You're going to move on from this person, you know, and this person is going to move on from you, but you guys care about each other too much for that to happen. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. So let's see if we could get some advice, right? And move forward. Cause we're at 53. So if you made it to 53 minutes, Go ahead and like this video really quickly so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience. I didn't start talking yet. I'm not going to take that. Please, please, angels, let's see what the advice is here for Gemini and their person. What's the advice? I feel like I did everything, right? I hope I'm not missing anything because this is supposed to be the mega reading, you guys. All right, what's going on for Gemini? Advice, please. What you want Gemini to know? I'm just reading. Thank you. Okay. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Okay. Let's see where this is headed. All right, so we have the immature energy in the back, which is, you know, very excited. Just want to have fun. Let's talk about this problem one time and move on. Let's move on, right? Let's stop lingering into the past, okay? I can't change what happened. This is the vibe that they're given. I can't change what happened. Let's talk about it and then move forward. I can't talk about it every day. It's going to piss me off. This is, what <laughs> this is what I'm hearing, you guys. This is what I'm hearing. So we have an energy here that you're clearly like putting on block, um, Gemini, because you feel in your heart that they're not ready for someone like you. You know, they're not on the right page. This not this might not be the one for you. You know, they've been lying, betraying you, been holding back a lot of the things, but they're saying you're holding back some things. <sighs> All right. So I feel like the conclusion is with this, what the advice is is trust each other okay because 
there's a lot of pause here, a pause moment. Like this person, try not to linger in the past too much. This person wants to move on into a new beginning, okay? They want to give you what you want. Let's move on, make a life together. Let's, you know, let it flow. Let's see what happens. Let's, you know, just go right in. Let's just jump right in here, okay? Let's just, let's just be successful with each other. All right. This is what I want. This is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like uh, a message here is don't judge the cover of the book. Read the book and then judge it. Right. Because this person is appearing to you as being very like cold, very in the moment, a very not ready for a committed relationship, a player like person, you know, a jealous person, a conniving person. And you just don't you're 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 you just don't like that. This is what you see. Right. Um, and this person is looking at you as someone that has everything, but don't acknowledge them and someone that's holding back a lot of things. So you guys are pretty much judging each other here. And I feel like, you know, it could be a wonderful relationship, but I feel like it's going to take time. It's going to take time for you and this person to get on the same page. And I feel like what needs to be done here is for you and this person to get away from each other, not get away from each other, go on a trip together, go away together, travel together in the six of swords, you know, I feel like you guys need to take some out time together, go on an adventure together and get to know each other, really get to know each other without people, because a lot of people are around you. I'm seeing the seven of sword, the seven of wands here and the six of wands that follows. Okay. And that's really weird. I feel like this person is a lot of friends and people that's not really good you know people that is like telling them to do certain things and you know making it seem like they're a horrible person to you but the truth is you know it's all in an act it's not the true selves okay i'm also seeing like you know there's a lot of things that was hidden here maybe maybe gemini there was something that was being wrongly done here and there is a lot of you know people trying to get at you and tell you about these things and putting things in your head as well as putting things in their heads about you. So I feel like what needs to be happening here is not only protect your energy, but also protect your words and try not to talk to people a lot about certain things. I'm going to clarify something here because I want to make sure. Please tell me about this six of wands, please, in reverse. Because this person is a person, if you keep throwing stuff at them, they're not going to defend themselves. They're just going to be like, okay, that's what you believe. Then that's what you believe. Oh, no, no angels. No, 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 no. One at a time. Gemini, y'all have a book. You know, the angels want to write a book about y'all. That's what it is. Because <laughs> they keep giving me all these messages. All right, let's see. Let's um shuffle, please. What's going on with Gemini? Please come, please come, um, clarify the six, the seven of swords, the seven of wands, angels. I'm all over the place. The seven of wands. Oh, and the six of wands. But let's do the six of wands first. Thank you. Sorry to be so confusing. Let's do the six of wands first. I just want to see why the six of wands is in reverse. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot. Ooh, let me pick this up. Sorry, y'all. Pick this up. All right, so the Six of Wands is clarified by the Judgment. And I'm just going to use these two cards, the Judgment and the Magician. Oh, I feel like this decision is set in stone, though. It's like, you see, like, didn't I just say this person was judging? Like, y'all judging each other? Oh, Lord. But their judgment is in set in stone, but yet they're manifesting themselves to be wrong here and manifesting a better outcome. I know I was on the right path. Okay. Please clarify the seven of wands. Oof, Lord Jesus. All right. Look at all these messages. Thank you, angels. <laughs> All right, so this have me working even harder. Let me just do this then. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Even though this is going on, because this is all noise right here, all noise. Like other people are trying to keep you guys apart. There is something that made you walk away from this person, something that you heard, okay? But this person is like, 
I am going to choose to move forward in a good way because some of you maybe this person is looking at you as marriage looking at you as being married or looking at you as someone um, that they can potentially build this with okay because they're not all this all these seven of wands are putting things in their ears okay and i feel like that was a part of this person where they might have walked away or you might have walked away but this is also telling me that these this decision that they made is not something that they made right away it's something that happened to them as they were laying down or thinking or in their head and they're like you know what no i'm gonna make the decision that makes me happy they haven't done anything when it was necessary so i'm getting aries leo or sag energy here a lot of fire towards you all right and this is why this is why it happened because of a lot of judgment here. Like you both were judging each other. It was like a huge misunderstanding. And even if it happened, they didn't make the decision on their own. Okay. But I'm feeling like, you know, this burnt them out. This made them feel like to give up on this, to hold back on how they truly feel and to run away from this whole scenario of a relationship. Hmm. And the funny thing is this could be your whole energy, Gemini. This is what... Because <sighs> I'm getting like you judge this person because of what people are telling you about them. Because these people are not true. Like they're around you. Um, they're using you for where you are in life. For some of you, you could have a huge following or you can be, um, you know, you could be out there very successful. And these people around you are not good people okay you think they are because they've been around you for so long but they're using you to get by okay also seen the eight of wands the eight of um i keep saying wands i don't know why i, I think you guys have a lot of fashion uh, a lot of um attraction towards each other which is you know making it very hard for you to move on but this someone is taking the l here let me see what's on the back of this deck the seven of swords the three of heartbreak someone thinks that this person has a third party they could have but they want to be with you <laughs> hi for aunt yeah a lot of people were like steering them the wrong way steering them the wrong way to make the wrong decisions here Whew, this is what I have for you. I'm going to leave this here, you guys. I'm going to leave this here. But I see that they're looking at you as a nine of pentacles. I could keep going, but... Okay, so there was some kind of cheating going on here. There's some kind of cheating or was very uncomfortable with these seven of cups here. Um, but you heard about this. You know about this. It's a third party that's coming through, but it's nothing like this third party is making it very hard this is why the seven of swords is here the seven of wands these people are coming towards you to make issues to make problems to steer you away from this person i was wondering what was going on ah uh, i was hoping that this person wasn't going to do all of this but here we have the three of pentacles the three of wands this person was hiding all of this in this whole reading honestly but <laughs> we here now this person is going to call you text you very very soon they want to make things right the person choose you and this is what um this is the okay thank you angels i okay i can take it from here but this person you know was guided in the wrong way they made the wrong decisions the wrong moves um they were with someone that they wasn't supposed to be with for some of you that explains the five of pentacles um where they shut down was cold make you feel very used okay make you feel like they wasn't the one that wanted to be with you but the truth is now everything is coming to light where they've been trying to protect and control the situation because they didn't want you to find out about this third party, but this third party got out of control. And it's not only them, it's other people as well. The seven of cups. I mean, this person could have slept with seven people or this person could have had multiple partners, but they definitely didn't want you to find out about this. Not because, you know, they want to have their cake and eat it too. 
I feel like it's just something that's going on inside of them that just happened because they have, I'm getting like this person is very successful for some reason. This person is a, a person person, you know, I'm not a person person. Okay. People just get you confused and try to make you, especially when you're in a relationship and you tell them that you have someone, it's like, oh my God, very attractive. I got to ruin this. Not that the person wants to be with your person. It's just that they have to prove to themselves that they could have them too if they wanted them. Right. Um, and it's just to wreck your relationship. So just be careful with whatever decision you decide to make moving forward because it's nothing. These people are acting very kind to you, very like they care about you. But the truth is they're trying to get you away from this person because they want them for themselves. And, you know, it's stupid because the person that you're interested in doesn't even want these people. They want you. Even if they move on with someone else or they're with someone else, when you're not looking, they're looking right at you. OK, right at you. But yeah, because they saw you from the first time they saw they were in love with you for the first moment they saw you. I think they fell in love with you first with this eight of wands here. They're holding back their feelings. You know, it's because of this five of swords. I mean, everything is in the back here on your person. They're appearing to be this page of cups here. Very, very immature, you know, but at the same time, just want to talk about this once and don't want to. I feel like they're really delicate um, emotionally, like they want to talk about this situation once and not again, because they're, they know they, they messed up. They know what kind of person they are. They talk about these people all the time. Like what a scumbag, what a loser, what this, how they did that with their friends and how they do that to that person, how they did. And here they are doing the same thing to you. So they know what kind of person they are. You don't have to tell them and they don't want you to tell them, you know, this is the situation. All right. I'm done with this person. I'm done with this energy, y'all. Gemini, I'm done with this person that you with. Nah, I'm done with them. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. If you made it to 107, go ahead and like this video. Give this a big thumbs up here on the channel so YouTube can push it to the next level so the video can be successful. So it can hit more people, help more people out there, and definitely, you know, have the video grow so the channel can grow, you guys. That's the only way to truly support us on here. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.